Today I'm in Sereno, but not for long because we're heading over to Queenscliff. We're going to jump on the ferry. Uh, we're meeting our good friend Diego from Black Magic over there. He's got a great land-based squid spot we're going to hit up, and I love catching squid. I was going to drive all the way around. I thought, why would I drive all the way around through the hustle bustle of the city when I can get on a beautiful ferry on a beautiful day, check out the scenery, might even get to see a dolphin. But we're going to be hopping onto this um, ferry very shortly. It should be pulling up any minute. I can actually see it coming in. And um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of an experience because I haven't been on this ferry yet. And it takes about an hour, I believe, to get over. So uh, we're going to jump on this ferry and try and get ourselves some land-based squid. Found one of the crew, Jaden. How are you, mate? Not bad, mate. Not That's bad. Right. Now, um, tell me, buddy, how long how long have the boats been running down here from Sereno to Queenscliff? Oh, the ferries have been running for about thirty years now. Thirty years. Yeah. So yeah. I was about seven years old when they started. Yeah. Um, wow. So and there's two boats that run continuously every day. Yeah, about every day on the hour. Do you ever, ever have a day off? No. 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 Always working yeah. Christmas, working New Year's. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so anyone can get across from either either side and uh, any time of year. Yeah, That's fantastic. Year. Uh, how, how many people does it hold on board, mate? Uh, this is, well, both big ferries hold yep. 700 passengers and about eight crew. So. Wow. And um, top speed? About 12 knots, which isn't that fast, but 12 knots is good. Oh. So it usually takes around about an hour, doesn't it, to get from one, one location to the other? Uh, more or, or less 45 minutes. 45 minutes, if yeah. they crank it right up to the 12 knots? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The cargo hold down the bottom yep. with the cars. Yep. How, how many vehicles do you reckon we could hold on average? Um, well, this vessel can hold a little bit less than the other one. Okay. This yep. one holds 78 cars if you push them really close together. 78 cars. And the other wow. vessel holds 80 cars. So. That's a lot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't go to Tassie in this thing. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> we could get there though. Yeah, we've been there a couple of times actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. where they get service and whatnot. So. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for answering those few questions for me, mate. We're just going to have a, a look around and uh, enjoy the trip. Okay, no worries. Thanks, enjoy mate. it. Cheers. <laughs> Here we are in Queenscliff. We've docked safely. And I tell you what, I've never experienced the ferry from Sereno to Queenscliff. I have now. And all I can say is anyone out there that hasn't tried it, get on board. It is fantastic. Find something to do in Queenscliff. Fishing's a very good reason and get over here. So now we're about to meet Diego from Black Magic and try and get some of these cephalopods off the beach. Diego, how are you mate? I'm good, good Nick. Good Yourself to see you again. Yeah, likewise. It hasn't been long, we only went fishing the other day. <laughs> Diego's a regular on the show. Now mate, you've promised me cephalopods. I have, so the pressure's on, but I don't think there'll be much pressure. I think we'll, we'll be pretty right. <laughs> well, I was going to say the backdrop, but the side drop we've got over here, it's a pristine beach. There's a weed line about 20 metres out, and that's what we're going to be fishing, mate, the weed Absolutely. line. Absolutely. We've got to get the uh, jigs into that weed line. That's where the fish are hiding. Yep. And uh, it's perfect conditions. The wind's in our favour, and uh, I think we're pretty right. You bought some of my favourite jigs down. I'm, uh, I'm going to start off with the redhead today, mate. That's that's a new one. I'm yeah. a fan of the redhead. It is. It is. Look, it's a very popular colour. It is. Uh, I know. I, I hear a lot of the professional fishermen that use the jigs, use that sort of red head yep. with a white sort of body, and... Uh, yeah, I think that, that'll work during the day. Hmm. Well, we're soon going to find out, mate. We are, we are. Let's, Let's get into it. Let's go. I'm just going to quickly run over the gear we're using today. Now, I've got an 8'6 Rovex Squid Specialist. Now, this is 
a, I call it a squid specialist, but it's actually called a specialist squid. Now, this is the new eggy rod that Rovex have bought out. I've only just picked it up today. I used to use an old, older one that they had that was very similar to this, and I can tell you, these are a fantastic light rod, especially for squid. If you're a fan of squid, this is an affordable setup for anyone to enjoy catching cephalopods off the beach. Now, it's eight foot six. I'm running a 30 size throttle, quantum throttle reel. And of course, we're using black magic jigs. Now, all this gear is affordable and it's quality. And I'll tell you what, the boys are already on over here. First cast. Well done, Diego. Two double hooker. Oh, both of you, first cast. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at this. All right, walk them into the beach. They're not big, but. That's fantastic, mate. Let me just bring that. Oh, look at that. First cast. First cast, and then Nev's on one at the, well, the background. And so. Nev's got one as well, so that's coming in. I'll leave you with this one, mate. If you want to um, get a hold of him and put you in your little, there we go. We're taking home some calamari tonight. And Nev, my first cast, we've got a white, you've got the white jig, you've got the black red. Mate, here we come, straight under the belly, and there we go. Fantastic, mate. <laughs> you can't beat first cast squid, first can you? Cast too. See, how many times, times I try and do that on camera and I still haven't managed to do it? And you guys come out here and do it before I even get in the water. So, well, I need to set my gear up a bit better. And so um, I promise you. I'm still going to have my first cast. I haven't had it yet. Mate, <laughs> you did promise calamari. <laughs> this is fantastic. Well done, Nev. Well done, mate. I still haven't had my first cast and Nev's already caught two. <laughs> the red, black is really special. red black, hey? I'll be honest with you. Is that, look at that, banjo shark. No, it's not. That? No. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, it is too. It's a banjo, you're right there. It is too. Yeah. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Two for two. I still haven't had my first cast. There's a couple of banjos swimming right at our feet. That's great. Oh, I'm glad that was just water. <laughs> it's always a 50-50 ink of water. I was very lucky then. I just did, yeah, the first time. He has a perspective grab, that one. Yeah, <laughs> straight on the candle, all the way up it. Yep. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I love the way these things hit. There's just something special about squid fishing, there is, isn't there, Diego? There is, there is. It's not rocket science. No, it isn't. It's just about... Something anyone can do at any age. That's right. As long as you enjoy it. And we do. And what's not to enjoy, Mick? <laughs> Look where we are. Now, now, when I say on the candle, folks, they got two, they got, squid have ten tentacles. Eight normal and two big long ones. They shoot out to get their prey. And as you can see here, <laughs> this one's done that. Straight on the candle. And there it is there. The ninth and the tenth tentacle. And when they're bigger, these tentacles are deadly to any little fish swimming past. We've got to try and... Uh, how about being in the water? Just try not to stick your reel in the water. Gotta love these. They're an absolutely amazing creature. They taste great too.
we have a bit of a revelation for our viewers. Um, Don't go using big words. Re revelation. <laughs> Four syllables. That's ridiculous. That's okay, so we've, um, as a lot of you guys will know, probably I don't know, 12 months ago, Mick sold his store, his shop. Yep. Um, we've got affiliations with a lot of fantastic brands. We've really struggled lately finding a destination can't where send we can... not send them anywhere to buy them. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, Jarvis Walker, Black Magic, Garmin, blah, Rovex, blah, 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 blah. And then we met this gentleman. This is Andrew. How are you doing? How, How are you? How are you? Good, mate. Melbourne Marine Centre. Made it all very, very simple. It's all the brands good. we love. Lone exactly. Star. So we felt very at home we straight did. away. And obviously the guys in here, Jamie, Mick, um, Andrew, the Ooh. guys are great. The service has been fantastic. It was, so It was like walking into a much better version of my old store. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. So we've become affiliated with these guys. We're working with uh, Melbourne Marine, doing some promotion. Yep. Um, it's a fantastic shop. Sorry, I haven't even asked Andrew any questions yet. How long have you guys been here, mate? Uh, we, we started about two and a half years ago, so only a short time, I guess, in the whole, okay. whole scope of things. So that was on the, the boat side of things, or was that tackle as well, or how have you... No, we started as a marine dealership, okay. so servicing outboard motors. Um, we started with very, very few boats in stock. and, and It just escalates very fast. Grew yeah. from there very quickly, and we put tackle in about 12 months ago yep. um, as Jamie came on board, and, yep. and it's grown from there into a, into a tackle shop with boating accessories, and we've got a full service centre. And, yep. um, and a new addition to yes. the Osfish family. Oh, there's more to it. Don't worry, guys. There's a lot more. <laughs> Mercury. Yes, Mercury Marine. We have um, Mix on, on the smaller Osfish boat. Mix been running a two-stroke Mercury. Yeah, a little is... little thirty. Um, it's quite a heavy boat, and I'm quite heavy. Nice. No, <laughs> slim. <laughs> so I need a bigger motor. It's, it's been around the block a couple of times. That that motor. And, yes. And if anyone knows me, they'll know I've um, I've hit a few sandbars at Lake Tyres and Western Port. Can't drive. None at Port Phillip, but there was no fish there either, so I was all right. <laughs> yeah, good on you. Um, so we're basically looking to do something with mixed motor. We got in, we started talking to Andrew about the Mercury range. I wasn't really, I was, I was fairly happy with the motor that I had. Some of the Mercury features that have been thrown out to me, um, the Smartcraft, is that what it's called? Smart yeah, yeah, Craft? the Smartcraft gauges, yeah. Spun now, me out. That freaked me right out. Now, <laughs> this guy doesn't realise what a monster he's created, because <laughs> when something goes wrong, this is what we've been told, when something goes wrong with the engine, mm. it sends you a message, is that correct? In time, yes. Yeah. So okay, once they get through the techie yeah, bits? that's exactly right. But basically, I was pretty happy with the engine I had. Looking at those sort of capabilities and the reputation that Mercury's got, yep. um, and every single person we know that has mercury becomes like a preacher on them, absolutely loves them. Well, I found it's doing a lot of trolling lately, and um, Mercs do a very low trolling speed. Yeah, what is the Which, rev range? Yeah, so with the with the Smartcraft technology, you can drop your base idle right down to 550 RPM and adjust it by 10 RPM from there. So no more water anchor out the back, slowing no. it down. Yeah, anyone that saw the Purim Beat episode we did recently, we had a... <laughs> Yeah, drag anchor out the Couple back. Couple buckets, and, and it was very, very dodgy. <laughs> I think we threw get... Diego over too. <laughs> <laughs>
D-Lodge. That black red is absolutely nailing it today. It's hard to tell spit on camera when they're really big, but that's a good size hood. He grabbed it and took off. He did. I saw he rod. It was very good. And here's a man with a bag. It's where we've been putting our squid. It's only a baby compared to some of the ones you get here, isn't it? It is. No, yeah. that's, that's a good fish. But it is a good fish. What you, that's a good cool. kilo there, mate. Look <laughs> at this little guy, isn't he cute? He'd make a great live bait for Mulloway, but not today. He gets a go. Now, the squid's probably not very old, maybe a month. A month old. Maybe not even that. They uh, they grow very fast. And on average, around about a 300 day lifespan. So, and then that's it. So off you go, little buddy. Here we go. <laughs> hey, that go, boys. Get in there. <laughs> See, who needs to stand on reef? That's a squid catching cast, that one. I got one. Hey? I got one. And you've got one. <laughs> You'll get one now. I hope so. How many more have you caught? Just one. I bought an extra jig in case I lose one. I've just broke my line and I left all my stuff on the beach. So I thought I'd put an extra one on. Oh. Jeez, a bit of a hole there. Walking a straight line, he says. Um, one thing I've forgot to worry about around here is blue rim. No, you're right. Are you reckon? changed because that's what they started going on but if you look at the color of the squid and the color of the jig it looks like a baby squid it does all right Diego if you give me this one I'll just grab that one there we go it's trying to get me what, what's it like? oh, sorry <laughs> I'm looking for a stingray they sneak up on you in these parts There we go. He's, oh, he's a nice one too. Yeah, Alright, in the bag you go. <laughs> in the bag you go. Swells. And uh, for the trifecta. In the bag you go. Black Red Diego. That is awesome. Diego's on too. Bang, bang. They seem to follow each other. We'll have 10 casts, get nothing, catch one, then bang, there's another one. Like I was saying before, don't reel it all the way in before I lost one. Don't reel it. 
pull the squid all the way in. Keep it about the distance of where your rod is away. Then when you pull your rod up, the squid comes straight to you. Triple hook up. Triple hook up. Nice. Very nice. So now I'll bring the squid towards me. Grab the jig comfortably. And then grab the squid. Just as he shoots his in. Again, that red black. The triple red hook black. up, triple hook up on the red black. Now, Diego, what were we saying about great jigs earlier? Is this the proof's in the pudding, is it not? It is, it is, it is, absolutely. Well, he's, he's made a mess of meat. Okay. He's made a mess. He got, he got a bit. You copped a bit. But that. Uh, and yeah. Nev's, there's Nev's over there bringing his in. Oh, he's let it go! You shot it off! <laughs> Ah. Back, well, well, let's get these in the uh, Do you want to take them over? <laughs> Tell you what. It's, it's getting heavy. For a while. Okay. I'll give you the bowl. Yeah, 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 I'm happy. The sight fishing here is excellent, guys. If I could get that camera and put it right here, I would. Because we're watching these big squid just come up and launch at our jigs. <laughs> Pulling four in one hit. There's three of us, we just pulled in four squid. Okay, guys, we've, offic we've officially bagged out. And I've just smacked one as I said it. Now, um, any squid we catch now are all going to get released. We're bagged out. There's squid everywhere. This is absolutely fantastic. As you can see here, great little guys, great fun. And back, back he goes. Well, Diego, you have lived up to your promise, mate. Cephalopod City. Absolutely, Nick. We've had a bag out session. It's crazy. It's crazy. Bag out session, land base off the beach. It does get better. <laughs> it gets better. It does get better. <laughs> it doesn't get better than a bag out. Well, well, I know, but they get bigger. They get bigger yeah. and there's, there's plenty out there for everybody, so it's, it's a great place. You've, you've done very well, mate. Um, Neb, congratulations on the biggest squid of the day. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you did very well. Uh, Something special about land-based fishing. I love it. It's very rewarding when this happens. It doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it's a special moment, isn't it? Absolutely. Something you remember from.